The Scottish Conservative leader has risked infuriating Brexiteers by calling for Nicola Sturgeon to be given a place at the negotiating table on trade talks with the EU. In a bid to win over Scottish voters who are growing increasingly skeptical of Boris Johnson over his approach to Brexit, Douglas Ross has sought to distance himself from the Prime Minister. Mr. Ross said Westminster had used a winner-takes-it-all approach to talks with Brussels. His latest attempt to differentiate between his group and the Tories below the border came during a speech at the policy exchange think tank. Mr. Ross's scathing review of Mr. Johnson's handling of Brexit comes as support for independence is growing steadily among Scots. Mr. Ross claimed there has been a failure to resolve Brexit divisions and the SNP government at Holyrood benefits from intergovernmental disputes. He suggested there is a perception that England and Scotland no longer share the same values in the wake of Brexit. And he argued this view is boosting support for the breakup of the UK rather than a strong argument for independence. In a keynote speech for the think tank, Mr. Ross said, Brexit has been damaging to support for the UK because it undermined, in the eyes of many, those shared values. He added, last month I said that independence was not inevitable, I truly believe that is the case. The bonds that we share across our four nations and between the people and communities that make up our country are deeper and more essential now than they have ever been. But you can't ignore the way that Brexit, and how it's been delivered, has undermined the perception that there are common, shared values that unite us. He added, there is no getting away from the fact that Brexit, and how it has been delivered, has undermined the perception that there are common shared values that unite us. We did not build a consensus around delivering Brexit. Instead there has been a, winner takes it all, approach. The Scottish Tory leader was adamant that such an approach had alienated former Remain supporters who still feel aggrieved at the referendum result. He said Nicola Sturgeon's SNP had reaped the benefits of this by becoming an outlet for that anger and frustration north of the border. And in stunning comments likely to infuriate hardcore Brexiteers, Mr. Ross said allowing Mrs. Sturgeon to take part in trade talks with the EU would help empower devolved administrations. Mr. Ross said the First Minister should also have a stronger say in the UK's immigration system. Social media users left on his comments, accusing him of using Brexit and other topical issues as a way to, cheaply, score points with Scottish voters.